Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. This is me again, Gabriel. If you watch it, channel, I am a fitness coach over 10 years of experience, uh, training high performance athletes, uh, low performance athlete, every athlete, <laughs> and regular people as well. Okay, but hey, I'm a passionate about sports and today we're gonna talk about that yeah i've changed the environment a little bit if you watch my other videos sometimes i'm in the kitchen sometimes i'm in my office today i'm in my office i want to do more stuff here i feel like i'm more focused when i'm cooking i'm talking at the same time it's so hard to like multitask i can multitask but like cooking and like talking about fitness is a lot and on a different language a lot as well as you can see i got an accent <laughs> um, but yeah, hey, today's going to be a very important and interesting topic is about sports and how sport can motivate you, yeah, and hey, it's something I really push to my clients to do because I'll be honest with you, uh, if you watch this channel, I'm natural, I don't use any high performance or drugs or any steroids or anything at all, so for aesthetics it's quite complicated guys to keep progressing yeah so like, let's say if you only go into the gym uh, to you know grow muscle and look amazing and look huge or look great or whatever uh, yes you're gonna your first three months are gonna be like whoa is this even me and you're gonna see yourself in the mirror you're like wow this guy is so handsome maybe that's a good case maybe it's not <laughs> um but then once you go your new begins it's gonna be a little bit harder yeah you're still gonna see changes i'm like well my bicep looks a lot better it's a bit more difference but let's be honest and let's be real and if you've been lifting for more than four or five years you notice your body is not changing anymore like yeah you might be looking a bit leaner sometimes you might be looking a bit more bulky and like bigger but it's always sort of like the same kind of like, you know, physique, yeah? Like it doesn't change drastically unless you use performance drugs. And that's the reason sports comes here. Like that's why this video is so important. And I encourage everyone, anyone, if you like, if you're active, obviously if you don't do anything, if you don't do sports and you don't go to the gym, God, you need to do something because you gotta be active. If you're a human being, we were born to be active. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, once you start in the gym, go and you gotta do a sport. Find something, there's so many stuff to do. So yeah, well, I will share my personal story first and then I'll tell you why this is so important. But yeah, I started calisthenics. Uh, it's a bit of, it's a mixture of, whoa, whoa. That was dangerous. Yeah, I started doing calisthenics and it's a mixture, it's a bit gymnastics, a bit techniques and we care about body, we care about looking lean really, like looking really, really skinny. <laughs> but um, some uh, some cases like, you know, you can see some calisthenics at least that like, they look good, they're fine, you know, and, but yeah, not compared to like bodybuilders when they're on their prime, they can be, you know, a bit more aesthetic. So, if you're doing calisthenics, it's like enough. You like by just focusing on your techniques, you're gonna like you know, uh, stay motivated enough. Trust me, like going through a planche journey is like hard, front lever, handstands, and it takes years and years and years. And then you can be doing it for like ten. Well, I've been doing it for like ten years on and off because I've done so many things, uh, and just lost to learn. You know, and like I. Um, I'm in my highest um, technique like I never thought I would be able to do it so I'm doing like planches now and that's that's the highest like for me and for most people of course as you can see some freaks they can do like one hand planche blah, 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 but that's like crazy crazy yeah um, but yeah you stay motivated we stay motivated doing calisthenics when I was young then slowly transition to bodybuilding I did my first book, I was really skinny doing calisthenics. And I already had my new begins doing calisthenics, but n I never got the side effects of bodybuilding. 
you can see is uh, I'll leave some pictures here so I look now uh, I go to genetics to grow my so which is good I mean I can look pretty jacked <laughs> uh, for natural um, but then yeah, that only lasts me two years I did a bulk full body build full machine full weights and boom I, I blown like phew, super happy so um, yeah great two years spent and then I just stay the same like I am right now I'm doing calisthenics again but now I have this new weight and I keep lifting I, my numbers keep increasing a little bit like you know in bench and stuff but like uh, one year five kilograms increase kind of thing so it's like a lo long 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 wait so how do you do to stay motivated like imagine if you every Saturday you're gonna lift the same bench all the time so you're not so your numbers are not changing and your body's not changing okay I mean it will but it's so slow that you barely notice but you have to stay consistent and how do you do this doing the sport performance training for sports well you can have well depending on how much you want like what you prefer more aesthetics or sports you gotta mix it up and that's what I did I also surf I, I'm so passionate to surfing so 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 passionate to surf so you see aesthetic or is this is my career I coach and you know let's be honest fitness coach gotta be looking good all the time so you can get more clients na, 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 na. and but also light surfing, so uh, I, I keep my body fat quite low, okay? I like to keep my body weight low as well so that I can be more like, um, well, flexible in terms of like, you know, surfing. You, could, you don't want to be heavy, it's going to be a lot harder to paddle and everything's going to be so much harder. Calisthenics, the same thing. So I keep a balance, I do my weights and everything, but my training plan is half like surfing half bodybuilding okay so i can keep that balance it's like a hybrid training really but it's, it's been popular that hybrid training is more like running and lifting but it's kind of the same really so that's why i normally do at the gym see and then i i manage my prioritization and go up like an intensity and volume according to you know the swell if it's wave comes then okay i chill a little bit and, and i go so it's something that I encourage people to do. It's super, super important. Okay, obviously, and if you have a coach, that currently I've got some spaces available, so you can we can work together. Um, uh, manage your, your presentation, super important. If you have someone, to, you know, you always keep an eye on you, and not just, uh, people think your fitness coach is just to like, you know, tell you what to, well, tell you what to do, exactly. You tell it, I'm telling you what to do, but I'm also managing the presentation and everything like, uh, and the load okay according to your body you don't want to be like no pain no gain kind of vibe which is big myth like you shouldn't be training like that otherwise training will be so so easy and bland and boring no you have to like manage your prioritization know when you have to push the failure point know when you have to like save from energy then deload and load and all this uh important terms of fitness okay so and that's what fitness coach is for people more advanced when you're a beginner obviously there's more basic stuff to cover okay such as technique and the actual training split that you got to do the planning the planning will be more important then but when you are more advanced planning is still important but uh, it become a bit more basic because you're gonna start doing like a 20 to like sorry like a 12 week plan number of exercises and I'll be caring more about like the weight and the, the load, the reps, the volume that you do rather than the actual movement, okay? Because I, I assume that the movement uh, is not new for you, it's something like you've been doing before, okay? So yeah guys, so that's, that was my personal story, um, that's what I'm doing currently and that's this was the video about to tell you go and do the same like or if you don't have to do surfing but like go and find your sport you have to find your brain if you already have it well easy you know like look at it like if you train for that sport you're gonna like stick to it like the rest of your life like even though i mean this is my career but if i were i don't know a computer guy or i don't know a salesman I'll still be like so active and I wouldn't miss any day of training I wouldn't be like you know I always tell everyone like it's not about money but I mean I like doing this 
But if I wouldn't have to work, I'd be like doing so much that like like chasing waves or in the work kind of vibe. That would be like the best, best, best thing. Okay. So guys, let's talk about the benefits yeah, of this type of training. Let's call that type of training because it's a hybrid plan. You see, it's like sport performance. Um, is the physical benefits is so great because it's like free cardio. You imagine that? Free, I don't do cardio, guys. You see me at the treadmill, that'd be so boring. I wait a minute. If you're someone who just like walking for an hour and a treadmill on an incline mode, it's like, you have no life? Like, so boring. Like, that's the most boring thing that you can do. And there's a million people doing this. Like, well, I don't know, like, billion people doing this because it's so common. Basically, the main reason I, I mean, I work in the gym as well, you know, so I know this stuff. It's just they go and pay a membership and then they just stay like seven days, I don't know, um, five days a week. And you go to type of people and the trap man is the one that's too scared of going on the weights. And they'll be like, no, that's for big guys or I'm just too intimidated to go there. Fair. Okay, that's another video though. And, and they just go on the. That, that's why they pay the membership. That's why they pay like 40 pounds a month just to go on a track and walk for an hour and then get off. And then just repeat five days every day. And then you have the other person who's like the gym bro, who's like obviously oh, they they do the weights, the whole planning. Hopefully they have a good training plan. And then they do the cardio there for like an hour. So they spend like three hours in the gym and it's just like you have no life. That would be so boring. Like I do my stuff at the gym and I get an hour and I'm on and like I'm off. That's it. Did my whole hypertrophy training like. All, all the mach like machinery I need it and my cardio I do it in the sea you see like I surf no matter what two three days a week no matter what if I'm not surfing I'm skating I'm like if there's no wave then I'm, I'm you know I'm skating so guys mega important cardio free cardio when you do this turn it <laughs> that's not even important but yeah mental benefits guy like it's so crazy, like I always tell everyone, like I never suffered from like stress or anxiety till now when I get older. <laughs> Maybe the resp responsibility, I don't know. But like it changes you so much. Like I've had the most stressful days and like anxiety and everything, like all in ones, like I'm like ah, my brain's just like ah I need to get out. Ah like actually not long ago like last week I was like and I couldn't even sleep because when I have anxiety I can't sleep so I woke up like 5 in the morning stand it right <laughs> I went to the sea and then so for like 3-4 hours then work I was still active obviously I took caffeine and then shouldn't but I mean it really worked um, because I didn't sleep and and then yeah, I, w I went and then like, then I went to work. And then as soon as I finished working, I was like, I cooked some food and it was four o'clock and I was just like, look at the cams and it's like, it's pumping. <laughs> Again, surf for like four hours. And I did a PR on bench the same day after surfing for four, four hours. Well, it wasn't a PR, but it was my PR. So it's like, I probably leave a video here. It's like, how, you know? Um, so yeah, but right after that, I was cooked, like, I was dead, like, I went, and I mean, I was feeling really bad the day before, and I woke up on Sunday, and I was like, I'm a new man, obviously I couldn't feel my body, that's really bad, by the way, and that wasn't the best example, because I kind of overtrained there, not like overtrained, bad, 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 like I injured myself, but I definitely, I was like, but it felt really good, though, I was like, I was, Sunday was my day off, just didn't do anything, I just went like that pancakes and just get like literally didn't do anything but it felt so good and all my problems went away like it was crazy 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 and social you got social benefits as well um you may so you meet so many people better people at the gym people at the gym are weird don't make friends at the gym they're fucked up <laughs> but yeah like the gym is just um I don't know I feel like people a bit different 
people socialize at the gym because they know them out like themselves outside like you don't normally approach people at the gym that like everyone is on their own like you know world, little world what's when you do sports like most sports community that's so friendly like surfing well depending on where you go but like the, even that's a loner sport by the way it's, surfing is like the loner we call it a loner because we just like go and then the less people the better because you get more waves it's quite selfish in that sense but most most sports this is just like a good bike community and they usually them you know like their groups because uh, you need like I don't know for instance you need people to play football you can play by yourself um, and then you meet so like so many cool people so social benefit is like through the roof and um, so yeah guys I think I've been speaking a lot I need to go back to work I just want to speak in the camera a little bit um but yeah so please go go out there find your sport uh let me know in the comments send me a message and we design a training plan for on a specific sport that suits your needs and manage your presentation shoot so that you can perform at your best at sports and at the gym and get you know same outcome physical outcome as well free cardio and then you if you want to stay lean you stay lean okay because more most most sports require like high intensity cardio and so yeah get so many so many benefits so make sure if you're not doing any sports and you go to the gym you're missing out i'll see you soon bye bye